Minimally invasive complex tricuspid valve repair. The patient is a 59 year old female with a history of severe tricuspid regurgitation from a septal leaflet restriction by a pacemaker lead, which was implanted for six sinus syndrome. The patient complained of fatigue and leg swelling, and workup demonstrated normal coronaries, normal LVEF, and normal mitral valve. Echocardiogram shows severe tricuspid regurgitation by pinning of the septal leaflet with the lead. The pericardium was open at the time of surgery and cable control was obtained using cable tapes. First the SVC was secured and then the inferior vena cava was secured. The atriotomy was created in the standard fashion and the atrium was secured to the edges of the pericardium which was secured by pericardial stitches. One can appreciate the restriction of the leaflet by the scarred in lead. The lead was unroofed using a technique uh, of a 15 blade scalpel, gently scoring over the scar so as to unroof the lead. Using sharp dissection and bovi cautery at 10, the combination of these two techniques was used to release the lead. Once the lead was released, the plan was to secure it in the commissure between the septal leaflet and the posterior leaflet using a bicuspidization technique. One can see here the lead is now free. And the valve will be tested. You see the septal leaflet mobility is much improved. The annulus is sized to a 28 incomplete band. The annuloplasty suture is replaced We're using 2O ethabon. The valve was retested, finding good competence. The 28 millimeter band was secured in place using titanium fasteners. And now the lead is going to be secured in the commissure between the posterior and septal leaflets using CB5 Gore-Tex to bicuspidize these two leaflets. In doing so, we prevent the lead from, again, reattaching itself to one of the leaflets in the atrial side and restricting them. The final result is shown. There is good coaptation and no leak of the valve on static testing. The atrium was closed. Postoperative echo showed 2 mm of gradient across the valve and no regurgitation. The patient was discharged home on postoperative day number 4 and had a full recovery. Echo, as again, showed good coaptation and no gradient across the valve.